Hello and welcome to episode 80 of the Rollo and Slappy Show. Today is February 26, 2018. I am Rollo McFlugel and with me is Slappy Jones 2 and we are both of McFlugel.com. The show notes page for this episode is McFlugel.com slash 80 where you'll be able to find links to some of the stuff we're talking about as well as ways to subscribe to this podcast and check us out in other social media outlets. So with that, I'm going to hand it right over to Slappy, and he's going to introduce our episode topic. Uh, Thank you, Rallo, and welcome to the Rallo and Slappy show. I'm Slappy Jones, too. Um, Last week, Dave Smith, the self-proclaimed most consistent MFer on the planet, um, we have a family show here, I censor myself, missed his show on Monday. This is a Sunday night. We couldn't do it on Monday. We're recording anyway, so we get our episode out. I think Dave just dropped a few pegs on the consistency. Uh, just throwing that out there. Step up your game, Dave Smith. Um, today- that, that was Slappy, not Rollo. <laughs> now we love Dave Smith, and uh, obviously um, I noticed he didn't have a show out on Monday because I like to listen to it. So anyway, here we are being consistent and getting our show out on Monday, and this time we are talking um, about – Again, somewhat about the school shooting that happened in Florida last week or two weeks ago, Uh, but more some of the reaction to it. And people suddenly now trust 16-year-olds to vote. Um, There's been several articles out there about it. Should these kids, these high school kids, have the ability to vote for politicians? Um, And, uh, you know, whenever these tragic uh, events happen... um, people people want to make quick decisions and uh rollo you think it would be a good idea to let high school kids vote it's kind of funny we didn't plan this but at the end of last week this episode we were talking about how hans Hermann hoppe was talking about how terrible of an idea it would be for kids to vote because they would have they would you know want stupid things like free videos and everything so right. I, I think uh yeah, I still have that same opinion. I agree with with Hoppe on that. I think it's it's absolutely would be a terrible idea. Not that to say that voting should be preserved as it's <laughs> great things. No, or, I was going to say the adults haven't done such a great job. Right. Yeah. It's just adding another layer of people who will make bad decisions because you know when you're 15 or 16 years old, you think that you have everything figured out most of the times they're pretty clueless about a lot of stuff. doesn't mean that there's not smart ones out there, but especially when it comes to you, people interacting with others and how to solve complex problems, they tend to not understand it as well. And I can, I can say that I was the same way. I mean, I was oh, a, same here. a raw, raw Republican back when I was you know 16 years old, and I thought I was... Mr. Free Market and thought I was smaller government, but I was a huge status back then. And I always thought that, well, if they do it my way, we'll be able to, that, yeah. that'll that work. Because I, I know what I'm talking about. Changes. And that's, right, a pro- the, and that's the problem for everyone, though. So it's not, it's not necessarily um, just kids. It's just that kids tend to do that worse than some ad- adults do. Yeah, part... Part of the problem, another Dave Smith reference there, part of the problem is we have compulsory schooling. They have no life experience. They've been in school their whole lives with kids their own age. Um, Critical thinking is at an all-time low. I can't imagine it's ever been lower than it is right now. Um, Why is it that with these kids, because you're seeing them all over the news, all over social media, the first thought, while there's a gunman in their building shooting bullets at them is let's get Washington DC involved. I mean, to me, that's like a huge indictment on the school system here. You don't think, how can we protect ourselves? How can we do this better? It's let's get politicians involved. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty sad. And there was a, uh, since we're talking about other podcasts, Tom Woods had an episode the other day where he had someone coming on about, drug addiction and how to solve it and and the guy was saying that the normal ways of doing it with the therapies and everything and how they say that you need help you need help you can't do it on your own 
it's really a disastrous kind of mindset to have. And I think it's the same way here. It's, it, it's completely emasculating to tell all these people that prop these issues comes up and you need the, the huge federal government to do it. You can't have anyone else solve this problem. And, and you look at this and we don't know what happened with this, with this kid that did the shooting. Um, there's a million factors that go into it, but apparently from, I think everyone generally agrees that the police knew about him. Uh, he's was in their system. They knew that he had issues and everything, but apparently not enough got done. And, and I'm going to go out on a limb, not really, but suggest that the people who knew about him and his problems, you know, they notified the proper authorities and then may have just kind of washed their hands clean of it and said, well, I did my duty. I called the cops. Exactly. But, it's but out of my hands. But we've seen time and time again that the police don't do a good job with this stuff. The government doesn't do a good job with this stuff. So that's not enough. The, the solution should be to fix your own problems in your own community, in your own families, in your own lives. And I know it's it's easy for me to say because I'm not the one dealing with this kid that you know has that, that, that crazy look in his eye that you, you don't want to deal with him. I don't blame anyone for not wanting to deal with them, but you know you kind of see the results of what happens when when you don't give these people the the correct attention that they need. I mean, a lot of these shootings have been the same way. It's 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 young men who have these mental issues and and normally toked up on medication. So it's yeah, so to me, there's another problem out there that that none of these people that are screaming for the, the government to solve the problem are even talking about. So again, it was one thing we talk about fairly often is the treating symptoms. And I think there are deeper issues and you know, you play in a dangerous game when you're drugging up these kids. And I, I don't want to say that any kid who's on, on these drugs, um, these ADHD drugs or ADD drugs, anti-anxiety drugs, I'm sure they do wonders for a lot of people. In fact, I know people personally who have really benefited from them. But let's say one in a hundred thousand or one in a million or whatever, it affects them the wrong way and has something to do with a situation like this. I think most of these shooters, um, I didn't check this one, but most of them are on some kind of. Yeah, I was just I was just going to bring that up. I'm I... I, and I, 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 I want to say I heard that he was, but I don't want to say for sure. But either way, it's 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 happened for a lot of them. So even if if this wasn't the case for this guy, it's still still right. a trend. And yeah, sure. And, and and does that mean like they don't work at all, or they should be banned? Of course not. Um, might they be overprescribed? I, I personally think they are. Um, but that's a that's a deeper issue. Uh, there's going to be side effects to these drugs that, that we put kids on. And, uh, and again, I'm sure they've helped a lot of people. Uh, but if there's going to be that occasional case, it's, I mean, how are you going to stop it? Exactly. And, and, you know, if, if you get someone who's would go into a school and just shoot people up like that, I don't think taking a gun away from him is necessarily going to prevent that from happening. I mean, the worst school, attack has still was not done by a gun right it was the bombing in the 20s was i think the still the worst one or if not it was i think i saw that that was still but but either way there, there's either there's way. other ways and, and there's just other ways. well just look at columbine right those kids had the the school rigged up with bombs and fortunately they didn't go off if those bombs went off i mean if those bombs went off it would have we did so they many more people would have died they yeah. would have like, yeah, I think I, if I remember, they had a bunch of bombs set up around the cafeteria, and it could have collapsed that roof. The second story would have caved in, at least yeah. at that part of the building. I mean, there could have been a lot more death and destruction, uh, but they didn't go off. But to go back to talking about kids voting, um, what's funny is that it's not. There's been a lot of these anti-gun protests and everything, you know, air quotes led by children. Um, and so they're saying, I see these people saying, oh, look at how good of a job they're doing. And, and it's so impressive. And they're leading the way now. And it's like, well, 
I mean, they're putting their bodies out there and, and saying the words and everything. But at the same time, it's just they're, they're fitting the agenda that certain adults out there approve of. And so they're just using them as the, yeah. as the, as the, the jumping off, uh, as like a slingshot for them. Um, also, I don't, I, I want to make this point too, um, somewhat of a disclaimer, maybe. I understand that this is a tragedy and the people involved who were there, who saw people die, who got shot at, uh, certainly have some emotions running. And so I don't, you know. Absolutely. And, and I think that's why it's such a bad idea on the heels of this when they're still charged up with their emotions to be asking them what, oh, what do you think should be done for this? Right. They're gonna, you're not, you don't think straight when, when, when something like this happens. It takes a while for you, for you to process everything. So to stick microphones in front of people right after they just saw their classmates get shot up, you're not going to get a good answer. I don't care who it is. Right. And that's, that's part of the thing that disgusts me about this so much is that they're, like, they're not even letting the blood dry before people are swooping in and, and pushing their own political agendas and using, peop- using kids who just went through this as their puppets. Right. Um, so, well, and, and, go ahead. You know, well, I, w- I was going to go a little more on that. A lot of what these kids are saying is, like, you have to keep us safe. Um, again, it, it, I, it goes back to that compulsory schooling is, why is the thought, why are you making me go to this place? Right. Like, if it's so unsafe and you're begging the government to keep you safe, why, are, why aren't you questioning them forcing you to go there? Um, that should be one thought. Maybe we should change the system. Maybe we should stop putting a whole bunch of kids in one place and not allowing protection there. And the protection that is there is hiding behind a pole when something happens. Right. Yeah. Or, so, or maybe ask the question, why didn't you, or you have to keep us safe is the question. Why, and this kind of the same thing you're saying is why didn't you keep us safe here? Yeah. One, like, why what, didn't what you happened? keep me safe? Why did you make me go to this unsafe place? Right. Um, if you're saying they're not being kept safe, then that would uh, imply it's unsafe, right? So mm-hmm. why are you forcing kids to go there? Um, I think that's something we should think about, think hard about. Yeah. And also, whatever they're doing, I mean, they put you know, deputies in the school, armed deputies, prevent something like this. It, it's not working. Or it didn't work there. Clearly so didn't work there. You can't just keep going back to that well. I mean, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Right. So so then, you know, another another thing we hear is, um, uh, well, what, do you want to arm all the teachers? you want to have guns in every classroom? I, no, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> that's why I want private schools so people can make their own decisions, that parents can send their kids to schools where they agree with with that <laughs> aspect of it. Good, I'm happy you said that because that's what I, if I haven't made that clear already, I think we just scrap this entire system and uh, allow parents to educate their kids the way they want to, whether that's in a classroom or on field trips or hands-on learning or going to uh, an auto mechanic to see how you work on cars. I think there's a lot of different opportunities and different ways to educate children other than sitting them in a a chair all day staring at a board and then and then when when the teacher's so boring the kid can't pay attention we they say the kid has a problem the kid has the disorder it's attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder it's like you can't pay attention to me so it's your problem right uh maybe the school sucks (laughs) maybe the teacher's not good maybe this isn't the only way to educate kids uh, you know and of course they're not being educated as you can look at any poll if you talk to any person on the street they probably can't name you more than 10 presidents um there no one knows anything about calculus yet we all take well i don't know if we all take it i took it i couldn't tell you what a derivative is uh but i did get a's um, so, uh, you know, I did enough to pass the class. I didn't learn a whole lot, um, in my schooling, but I did very well in school. And yeah, I think should tell you a lot. You don't, yeah. you don't remember most of the stuff. I, I forget what it was, but I was proud of myself for remembering something, uh, something about rocks about, I don't know. Ig- oh, about anthracite and bituminous coal. I was talking to someone at work about it and I, 
<laughs> remembered something from like fourth grade. See, don't say don't say the schooling system doesn't work. You remembered something about rocks. Yeah, but it was a Catholic school, so it wasn't government school. It wasn't government school. So they probably did a better job of teaching about rocks. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, another point I wanted to make about the with supporting giving the kids uh, voting uh, abilities is that all right, all these people are, are and and they know it's not going to happen. I guess that's why they do it. It's just a way to uh, advance their agenda in some weird way. But they talk about oh, you know, we should be giving these kids the right to vote. Look at look at these kids that are out there doing the right thing and and everything. Well, all right. You want to give those kids the right to vote, but if you give them the ability to vote, then you're also giving it to all the kids that are online uh, writing the nasty YouTube comments and <laughs> sending all the Pepe the Frog memes out there because there's a lot of them. And I think that's probably where the majority of the racist and sexist internet comments come in are from like 15 and 60 year old kids that are hanging out and they're you know, friend's basement or room, like, giggling because they get to say nasty stuff and not get in trouble for it because people don't know who they are. So, do these people also want them voting? Because that's that's what you're going to get. And I don't know that, you know, these these kids that you see on TV doing these these protests and everything, yeah, there's there's some that really care about it and that's how, how they spend a lot of their times. But otherwise, I don't think that's the majority of, of young teenagers, what they care about. Or they might, they might, if you ask them in passing, say, hey, should the government ban, you know, AR-15s? Like, oh, yeah. But what about all the other ideas that they have? <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of good ones, yeah. those teenagers. Mandatory skateboarding. Yeah, mandatory videos or free yeah. videos. Free video games. Just like Hoppo warned us about. Exactly. So it's just... Uh, I don't think these people saying this can can be serious at all. They actually want kids to vote. Maybe they, they do. Maybe they just want... Their agenda pushed. Right. But they're, they're forgetting that those aren't the only 16-year-olds. Right. So, I don't know. It's It's just... What frustrates me the most is just the how they're just using these kids, you know, fresh off a tragedy like that. And, you know, they, they don't care about these kids at all. They care about their agenda. And it's it's really despicable. Yeah, it really is. Especially, I, I think we might have mentioned this on the last episode. What do they always do? Go after assault rifles, whatever that is. Um, where assault rifles are responsible for very few of the murders with related to guns in this country it's handguns do the overwhelming majority of it yeah and um, and just the outright lies that are getting spread about that and just stupid stuff like someone I, there was an article where the author said that well like getting a hand getting shot with a handgun is like getting a bullet pushed into you whereas an ar is like getting the bullet blasted through you it's like uh n- no <laughs> that's yeah that's not how that works at all yeah, but the founders wanted you to have muskets. Yeah, because yeah, you know, weapons technology from the beginning of time to 1787 was at a standstill, and it was only after the Constitution was was ratified that uh, and the Bill of Rights signed that you know there was developments in weapon technology. That's that is correct. So yeah, they would have never foreseen you know yeah, how having, do you, how having do you think the weapons. Romans. The Romans took over uh, all the Mediterranean. They used their muskets. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, the Carthaginians were using elephants going through the Alps, and uh, they were met with muskets when they crossed the Alps. Man. And that's why Carthage lost the Punic Wars. Wow. So there's your history lesson. It's amazing. I wonder what history would have happened if, if we still had muskets today. (laughs) <laughs> yeah well, you never know yeah we can't look back so uh i don't know do you have anything else you wanted to say uh probably but we don't need to say anymore because it's 
probably be ranting and just loosely related topics. So yeah, and I I, I haven't been talking much about this. Normally, when it, when a big event happens, that's when you know I'll start firing off articles and everything about it. But yeah, I, there's so much floating flying around about this that and there's so much bad information that I'm just kind of like sitting there and not trying to say what happened. All right. I, I am going to say one more thing um, because I'll regret it if I don't. To all the people out there tweeting, I'm sure you've seen them, this effort to stop using companies that deal with the NRA and they write things like, you know, stop sending your money to companies who deal with the devil. And then in the next sentence, say USPS. Um, think about that. The federal government has killed more people than the NRA ever will, probably in the last three years. So before you talk about um, don't deal with the devil, don't throw. That's fine if you don't want to deal with anyone who works with guns. But then don't talk to the federal government. Don't talk to the USPS and include them in that devil. If, if you think that anyone who deals with weapons and guns are the devil, if you think AR-15s are bad, why do you see what an Apache helicopter can do? Yeah, or a predator drone with Hellfire missiles. Aim, yeah, aimed at and, aimed at a school. Right. Yeah. If you don't like you don't like school shootings, then don't support USPS. Yeah. So you're saying that the USPS has drones? Yes. That fire Hellfire <laughs> missiles? Well, they're connected. So that's the other thing. What What are they saying? Like, I, I might get the companies wrong, but don't use Amazon. They use FedEx. Who? Oh, yeah. FedEx support has something or another, or there's an NRA channel on Amazon Prime. Don't don't support them. Well, fine. And if you're going to make that connection, then I'm making the connection. USPS is the federal government. There you go. Well, Twitter Twitter allows the NRA to to tweet, don't they? Yeah, stop tweeting. So you better get off Twitter. Yeah, that's now, put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, and don't deal with the devil. So don't deal with USPS and stop asking the federal government to help you. Yeah, I agree with I'm, that. I'm good. Don't you you want to make that compromise? Fine. Let's do that. Let's not deal with anyone who uses guns. Just, just completely cut the federal government out of your life. Don't deal with them. Don't send your tax money to them because you know where that's going. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, they they do have uh, they do have a lot of guns, and if you don't pay your taxes, they may come after you. Yeah, they actually have like a post office police too that I saw before. <laughs> I'm sure they do. It was weird. I'm sure they do. Okay, so um, free market success story. We didn't talk about this before the we started, but do you have one? Because um, I have one. Okay, go for it. Because I, yeah, I, I go ahead. So one of the things that uh, I have that I'm when I moved out to where I am is that there's some farmers markets. And uh, they don't really have them as much where I came from, closer to the, the city, but now I'm out a little out deeper in the middle of nowhere. They're around. And uh, the, uh, like the produce and the meat is just so cheap. And it's really? So, yeah. We have a farmer's market near us, and I always say I want to go, and I just never do. Oh, it's awesome. And, you know, the... The places there, they're a little bit, they're not like nice. It's not like your uh, fancy schmancy Wegmans or uh, or Whole Foods. Is that, I was going to say, is that shot at me? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like it's, it's I guess on the, maybe a little bit on the dingy side, it's, it's they just kind of pile stuff up in places. But I, I get, I suppose that helps keep their operating costs down, which makes it, keeps it a little bit cheaper to sell but I don't, regardless of the way um how they they keep their prices low they have extremely low prices and um it's very nice to be able to go there and and buy that you know buy cheap meat and produce and everything um so it's it's just another option out there and if you don't like that um that kind of setup like I went there one time with my brother and sister-in-law when my sister-in-law was pregnant and she couldn't go back to the one area because it smelled too much like fish because they have like all the, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the fish mongering going on and everything. So there's some people that they could walk in there and just be like, absolutely not. This place looks like a, a dump and I hate it. And that's fine. So 
you know, you, there's, there's other options for you, but for people like me who just like the experience of, of going to a place like that, and also you can save a lot of money, I think it's awesome. And since it's a farmer's market, I'm really just waiting for them to uh, start selling tractors for really cheap, too. Ooh, you got it. 11th hour, which it got also it. is. It is literally the 11th hour right now as we're recording this. It sure this. is. So. All right. So if, you, if, you, if there's a farmer's market near you, you've never been there, I highly recommend it. You will uh, you might get some great deals. Well, I am going to check it out. Good. So with that, the show notes page is for this episode is mcflugel.com slash 80. You'll find links to subscribe to this podcast on iTunes and Stitcher, as well as YouTube. And uh, subscribe to our newsletter on there. And also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And uh, we'll throw up our Amazon link. You're going to go and shop on Amazon anyway. So... Shop through us, and we make a buck or two off it. Yeah, it helps support the show a little bit. Yeah. So thanks for listening. We'll catch you next week. Peace.